Hello, this is uh, Dr. Sumun Lee at the International Christian University. We just saw how sound files can be viewed. Let's review again. You click the sound file and then you click view and edit to view the sound file. But if you want to write that a particular word uh, has a particular spelling or pronunciation in IPA, this is not really that useful because there's no way we can write that information. And now in this video, we are going to talk about how to create those text scripts. First, let's close the sound view. And while you are selecting the sound, go to annotate. This is like about the sevens from the top. There's annotate. And from annotate, go to text script. And let's click it. So now I clicked to text script. And what you can see here is the tier names are called Mary, John, Bell. And which of these are point tiers? And Bell is point tier. So what are these? And these are just uh, uh, names that are given by default. Uh, I usually do not use these names. And for this purpose, uh, I'm going to uh, use something like stress word language. And we are going to call it the point here is stress. So now I have an option to cancel. And if I cancel it, well, nothing will happen. Then there's apply and OK. And here's the difference between these two. OK, if you click OK, <laughs> then uh, it means that this uh, window will be closed. If you click apply, then it means it will create text grids and the same operation can be done multiple times. For now, uh, since we only have one sound file, we we'll click OK. In future videos, we will see uh, when we are going to use apply. So let me click OK. And let's look at the product objects, what happens. The moment I clicked OK, now suddenly uh, we see something called text grid being created. So what is this? Uh, what should I do next? Uh, we want to open it together with the sound file. So what you do is uh, you select uh, both sound and text grid together. And if you select it uh, together, suddenly the options that you see on the right side of the product objects uh, reduces drastically, right? Let me just show you the right side with sound selected. So we have these many options, what we can do to a sound file. Then text grid. Again, we have a lot of different options that what we can do. And then when we select, we basically have these few options. So at this point, let's click view and edit. And we get this view once we click view and edit. So this is a new view, right? Uh, we didn't have this view before. On the right side, uh, you can see all these uh, IPA symbols uh, that are uh, useful when you do annotation. On the left, you see our user uh, on the left uh, upper corner, you see the two panels uh, with waveform and the analysis panel. Right, waveform panel and the analysis panel. And we know now, uh, because the duration is uh, over 10 seconds, we do not see the analysis. Under these two panels, now we have three different tiers. And if you look at uh, the tiers, oh, now we have a stress tier, word tier, language tier. These are the three tiers that we created before. Mm, that's pretty good, right? And uh, if you recall, uh, I mark the stress tier as a point tier. So what does it mean? There are two different uh, kinds of tiers. And you can already see uh, from the number that you see here, uh, under the stress, there's a number zero, which means uh, we don't have any point uh, marked. On the word and language, we have one written which means we have a single interval at the moment. So 
the language of this file, let's just listen to the first one. The way to listen is you, you can select the first file and then you click the selected duration. Bead. So now we heard it one more time. Bead. Interestingly, when you play it, uh, the IPA symbols are gone. And it's an English word. Uh, and this, all of these words are English. And so in the language, uh, I'm going to write English. What you can see here is interesting, right? Uh, when I clicked uh, waveform or somewhere in the analysis window, we just see a red bar uh, appearing. But once I uh, click the third tier, T-I-E-R, tier, uh, language tier, uh, everything is being selected in pink. And the language tier itself is uh, highlighted in yellow. And furthermore, on the left side, we see a, a pointy hand appearing next to the tier. So this pointy hand and the red colored uh, tier number means this tier is being active at the moment. So we can type English. Yeah. So now we see English being typed. But what if you, uh, by mistake, type English, by mistake, like a German way, and like, oh, this is not English, it's English. So I want to change it. How do I do it? And the way to do it is you look on the upper left side, there's a white uh, empty space, and actually what you typed will be written there. So we are going to delete the C, and now we have our English. Right, and this is basically uh, uh, the basics of uh, creating a text grid tier uh, or text grid file, and then uh, how to create different tiers. Uh, of course, uh, you can add or delete tiers, and that's gonna be in the next video.